Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna go through all the awesome features that will help you transform your beats and acts into an industry standard screenplay. We'll also show you how to take sections of your screenplay and turn them into storyboards. So pull up a chair, hit subscribe, and let's get started. Now, once you've got the act, uh, sorry, the beats laid out, you've got your 10 beats, so you can move into the scripting page. Now the scripting page is cool because it's already set up so that as you type, if you want to say, you know, exterior or interior, moon, base, day, right? It's already written in the proper format. You press enter and it will automatically flip to action description. So you can start to just write there, Ted is cool. Now you can do two things after that. If you wanna go to the next line and write a character, you can click up here, or you can just press tab, or you've got all these other shortcut keys here too. That's pretty awesome. Now, if you want, you can just start typing your own stuff in here. You wanna check out your beats. They're right here in the scroll bar. So you can, oh yeah, that's what I'm writing about right now. Cool, and you can just start to go. Or, if you'd like, you can just click on one of the beats that you've got and see what Saga comes up with so you can break through that blank page and start writing a lot faster, which is pretty cool. All right, let's check this out. Over the moon's craggy landscape. That's a cool word. Full of crags, rough, right? Yeah, see, I never would have thought about that word. The lights of a futuristic city shimmer, the lunar colony. You don't need the date. A tight shot on the window of a high rise apartment, piercing the tranquil lunar landscape. Ted Balsar, ugly, handsome, and sharp, is glued to his computer screen. His eyes reflect the energy of a man on a mission. Framed pictures of his strange daughter are scattered around his workplace. If I can triangulate the frequency, maybe. Ted works fervently, typing in code, hacking his way through firewalls on his screen. Sensitive documents appear, spaceship designs, government contracts, leak communications, temples of his podcast interface, logo for the lunar log occupies the screen. That's a great name. Good evening, citizens, or should I say night owls? This is Ted Pulsar, and you're tuned in to the lunar log. The only beacon of truth in this starless void of secrecy. <laughs> a beat as he gathers his thoughts, the gravity of his next words weighing heavily on him. Tonight I will share with you something that will change the way you see our lunar government. A conspiracy greater than anything we have discussed before. Okay, so we don't need that. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, it'll write some stuff that maybe we don't want. Now, if you want, so you can see it generate you can keep going like with this if you want and just press this button and it'll keep adding stuff but i'm not trying to do that right now and you just press if you want to go back and get another beat you got to be in the scene heading tab okay so just go down here again now typically i'd want to finish this off because this is kind of just a setup so far yeah so what happens in this scene what is this the beats future we meet our ugly handsome sharp-minded lunar conspiracy okay yeah, so let's just try it. So we'll go to this, see what happens. But it's pretty cool. I think that what I came up with is great there. All right. So I think I can get rid of this actually. There we go. Rights of colonists, security, everything lies in flux. I publicly challenge you. Answer for this betrayal. We're selling our future to space or court. Or it pops up. Atlanta's graduation ceremony. <laughs> Yet, as always, Moose question everything. A podcaster's job is to seek the truth, but can we bear the true cost? Lunar Night Owls. A message from his daughter. Conflict apparent in his eyes. The quest for truth versus the realities of a strained personal. There's no time for hesitation. Not now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, what's next? So writing is rewriting is what, 
you know, you hear a lot of the old adage and it's definitely true in my opinion. This is amazing because it really starts you out and, and can help you come up with a bunch of ideas you might not have thought of. And then you can just whittle it away to what you really want it to end up as. It's cluttered situation of wires. Yeah, so let's say, was this, oh, night. Let's say day. Oh no, he's called the night hours. Um, okay, so day maybe. Now it's over. Day. Ted, we got a problem. Just one? It's not taking a podcast lately. Let them come. We got nothing to hide. This ruin us. We need to lay low. Let them win. No way. This isn't about winning. It's about survival. Ted, just give me a minute. Okay. What's next? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, so. Um. What happens in this scene? Uh. Let's give this partner a name here. This partner. Trisha. So Trisha tells Ted, this isn't a conversation and she insists that he take work leave and go on vacation for a while until things blow over with the libel suit generate now the some of these scenes are less than a page that are it's coming up with and a beat is you know going to be like two and a half minutes so you're gonna have to probably double the amount of uh material that that comes out here just like this so you can take that out boom lengthen the scene up it's an, <laughs> it's an intervention you're going on a forced vacation. Can't even learn a slog smear campaign against. Yeah. Can't we all have been hide? It's not about hiding, Ted. It's about survival. We continue this fight. She's not the public eye. Woo! Okay, maybe some more there won't hurt. Good. It's just time to reconnect, Ted. We don't just live for the fight. There's more to life. I need to remember that. Boom! That's pretty darn good, man. Okay. So, you know, you want to go out and finish your whole story so you know how it ends in order to set things up properly and you can quickly come up with that if you went to the axe page and just get those ideas pumping and then you can go and fill out the rest of your beats but in an hour you know sometimes this take people months to to properly get everything prepared for a script and especially without any experience this is a very useful tool. You want to download what you've been working on. You know, you can just download the PDF and boom, there's your PDF right there. If you did want to take it into one of your more traditional writing softwares to do some editing or share the file with anybody, then we can also, you know, you can just download it as a text file. It opens in final draft. Okay. Now the other thing that's really cool that you can do with this program, Let's check this out. So you can go to storyboards, create a new storyboard shot, generate the image here. And this way we can get some ideas about how it looks. So to help us write it properly. Boom, here we go, that's kind of cool. Oh yeah, look at this. Whoa, what's this one? Yeah, it's kind of neat. Pretty cool. All right, so that's Saga. Uh, amazing tool to help you get you know your scripts started and formatted properly and get some storyboards going hope you enjoyed that any questions on it please reach out let me know if you like the video please leave a comment below love to hear what you think about it and yeah uh, good luck writing
All right, everybody, that completes this series on how to turn an idea into a screenplay and also to generate storyboards using Saga. If you like this video, please subscribe and comment below. We'll have a lot more videos coming out just like this one. And always remember your ABCs. Always be creative.